Hey, what's up boys and girls? Welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Please, please, Samsung, just hear me out, Richardson, because today we're gonna be talking about some phone stuff, particularly when it comes to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Well, in my hand, I got the S23 Ultra, but let's go down memory lane for a bit. Way, way back in the day, it really wasn't that long ago, Samsung was naming their phones the Galaxy S series, and when they came out, it was the S series. And then another phone came out six months later, and it was the Note, okay? We had the Note. Then we had the Note 2, 3, 4, 5, so we did not have a 6. <laughs> we had a 7, and then we had an 8, a 9, a 10, and then a 20, and then I think they disappeared, and then they killed it, and it became the S21 Ultra. I think that is how the nomenclature goes for the Note. But now, what used to be the Note is the Ultra. And I'm okay with it. Whatever you want to do, Samsung, it's your company. I'm just here for advice. <laughs> so check this out, man. If you can see right here, I've got the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and then I've got the Google Pixel 8 Pro, and then I got the OnePlus 11, and then I got the Galaxy uh, Fold 4, which could double as the uh, Galaxy Fold 5 because they're pretty much the same phone. Y'all didn't really do much to that iteration right there. But I got four phones here, and the reason why is because I want the Ultra to really be the Ultra phone. This is like my dream phone. Okay, <laughs> we gonna make my dream phone, baby. Y'all ready for this? Okay, I would really like to be all in with the foldables, man. This right here, like I said, Galaxy uh, Fold 4 slash 5, right? The only reason this is the one sitting here with a case on it is because of this, the S Pen. This screen right here is compatible with the S Pen. This screen is not. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having this smaller front screen not compatible with an S Pen. I understand, you know, there's a lot of technology and stuff like that, but since you made the larger interior screen compatible with the S Pen, why not make an actual home for it instead of making it an afterthought to the point where I gotta put on a stinking case. Urgh, I freaking hate cases, man. I let me get this out of here, it's getting on my nerves. Why can't this pin slide up in here somewhere or on this side? I don't know what you gotta do about it, Samsung, but you could even make this thing smaller if you wanted to and just slide it up in there, man. You can fit it and then this is the form factor. Now I get it, there is now a, uh, a, a OnePlus Open on duty and it is killing all the foldable devices with this form factor because hey, Let's just face it here. OnePlus freaking nailed it with their form factor. Now that camera bump on the OnePlus uh, Open, it's it's rather huge. It's, it's cool, whatever, it's, it's cool, but it, it, let's just say it's huge. It's even bigger than this one, man, it's just huge. Anyways, so the OnePlus Fold form factor would be a great idea for the Ultra. I'm, ta I'm not talking about Fold, I'm talking about Ultra. This is, this is my, wonder phone okay so we're gonna this this is the ultra phone so this ultra phone is a foldable with a housing for an s pen and now we got to pick a camera man now this camera bump is the most beautiful of the bunch in my opinion they, i mean it looks freaking nice they could throw this on there as far as the design but this is not the best camera here i have on the table we already know the galaxy fold cameras are not the greatest on the table so that leaves us with the Google Pixel 8 Pro and the Galaxy S23 Ultra here. So, ooh, which one do we go with? Well, I will tell you this, while they both take fantastic pictures, the AI, the post-processing of the Google Pixel 8 Pro is just killing the Samsung Ultra Series cameras. It's, it's just, just beating the crap out of Samsung right now. So Samsung, get you some AI in your cameras, man. You, wanna call, you want, might wanna talk to the folks at Google steal some of that post process and AI and the like ease up all that color saturation to make it more natural like the Google Photos is because that's the camera I'm picking for my dream phone right here. So the new Galaxy S24 Ultra will come with the Google Pixel 8 Pro camera, <laughs> but it will be disguised as a OnePlus 11 camera bump. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. This is getting me hyped. But now we gotta talk about battery life, and this is where it's at, man. The OnePlus 11, this is like a day and some change worth of battery sitting right here. Now, when I say a day and some change worth of battery, I'm talking, you put your SIM card in here, you go out on them streets on LTE and 5G, and you 
Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok your butt on to oblivion. And this thing is still gonna be working the next morning because you forgot to charge it up because you was scrolling and swiping all day and you just fell asleep while you was doing it, right? So you wake up and this thing's at like, I don't know, probably 20%. Even though it's on 20% and you gotta get ready for work, you can just go jump in the shower or shave or something like that. Make may take you 20 something minutes, right? As soon as you plug this bad boy up, super book charging, ting, just it's charged. It's like 26 minutes from zero to 100. And then you got another day and some change worth of battery. I need my Galaxy S24 Ultra to charge that fast and last that long. Now, if a battery's gonna last that long, it's gotta be a top performer, so it's gotta have a good chipset in there. So, we're taking the performance out of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and let's just push it forward into the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And, of course, since you have that processing power and everything you got in the 23, you gotta go with not TouchWiz. It's not TouchWiz anymore. It is called One UI. And that is this beautiful formula that Samsung has come along with. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I got all kinds of options here. Look at this. You see how my, my home screen right here, this is my app drawer. Most app drawers on pure Android, it's just a hot bloody mess, man. I got folders, baby. Folders. You iPhone people don't know nothing about this in your app drawer. It's just a hot friggin' mess, even on your home screen. So it looks like, man, you ever see somebody, like when you walk up on them and they own their computer and their freaking desktop is just icons everywhere and you're like, oh my God. That's what iPhones are like. That's what a lot of Android phones are like that run like pure Android. It's just messy and I can't stand it. That's why I'm digging this right here. This one UI, baby. I got my Samsung folder, my Google folder, Microsoft, Amazon, all these, look, look at this. I got a lot of Google apps, right? So they're all in here, boom. All my Google apps, right? I'll be Googling. And then I got, let's go in here. I got my social media and stuff right there. You know, you got the X, you got the Best Buy, Netflix, all that is in one folder. Do I have to say any more about One UI and the organization and the fluidity and the ecosystem of One UI? That's what I need, okay? This is my dream phone and it just happens to be mostly Samsung components, but hey, we cannot have my dream phone without Samsung's One UI. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ask for about one terabyte worth of storage out of my new phone, but I probably won't be using near that because I do a lot of cloud-based stuff. But what I do need is Google's AI. Google, you didn't lock down all your AI stuff and held it like privately for the Google Pixel series, which is fine, man, it's your platform. You can do whatever you wanna do, but I'm just saying share, okay? Now Bixby's clutch, okay? Bixby is clutch. My boy, Digital Slang is always getting on me about using Bixby so much. Y'all just don't understand how useful Bixby is. But the AI that comes in the Google Assistant that's built in, it's just straight up baked into the Google Pixel series, precisely the Google Pixel 8 Pro. I freaking love it. It is amazing how the AI walks with, or well, I say walks, works with the call screening, um, reading articles, summarizing articles, taking pictures, scrolling on you, all kinds of stuff that AI can do for you. And it just moves with you, man. And you ain't even really got to do much. You just, it just moves with you. So I need the AI from the Google Pixel 8 Pro in my dream phone. Oh, and since we still yanking stuff out of the Google Pixel series, can we go ahead and take that support too? Man, they talking about seven years worth of support and updates on this bad boy. Can we just get some of that? Can we get like, I don't know, four, five years? I don't think anybody's just riding around with a seven-year-old phone these days, but yeah, man, I, I would like that speedy update process that you give the Google Pixel. I need that Pixel treatment in my Galaxy S24 Ultra, bro. Now I'm pretty sure there's a few more ingredients that I'm missing out of my dream phone. I just can't think of them right now. But one last thing I do want to add to my dream phone is the durability of the Nokia XR21. Now the Nokia phones, those things are indestructible, man. When World War 17 breaks out and we didn't all kill each other and the world is destroyed, guess what's gonna be left? The Nokia phones. But I can't deny the toughness of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I have dropped this phone a handful of times and it has damage on all four corners. One, two, three, four. No broken glass on the front, no broken glass, or even scratch camera lenses on the backside. However, this one took one drop from the trunk of my car which is about two and a half, three feet up, and boom, I cracked all of this. In my uh, video of comparing the Pixel 8 Pro to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, you see where I cracked my glass, and then that's when I put my skin on it. So I don't know if how much that speaks to durability, but uh, it, it's, I, I just this phone is just built like a friggin' tank. I just needed to have that Nokia durability, though, just to be on the safe side. 
Now, one last thing I wanna talk about is Samsung's naming of the phones. I've taken all of the parts out of these wonderful phones, right, to make my dream ultimate ultra phone. And that's where we get into the name. When you talk about an S20 or S series phone, let that be that, okay? Let the flip be the flip, okay? Then you have your S series. So what we have now is the S, let's say it's gonna be the S24. That's the smaller version of the phone, right? A little bit stripped down, but still fantastic. Then you have the S24 Plus. Let that be, let's say this phone. What looks like the the Ultra, let it be this phone, maybe a, a, a slightly lesser camera with no built-in S Pen. Let that be the plus. And let's get rid of the Fold series, okay? Let's get rid of the Fold series and make the folding phone with the S Pen, let's call that the Ultra. You see what I'm saying? You you feeling me, Samsung? You feeling me, dog? You, oh, I'm getting hype again. But seriously, man, why can't the S series be just a regular phone and then you have the Plus model, which is, you know, an upgrade from that. Maybe it looks a little like this, maybe with some rounder corners. And then you make the Ultra, the folding phone with the S Pen included. That's some ultra gangster stuff right there, man. Make the Ultra phone. And then you can still have your flip. Okay, the flip can be the flip, but the fold is gone. It is now the ultra because it folds. And if you think about this, man, back in the day when Samsung was thinking about calling the Samsung Galaxy Note the Note, this is what I believe they had in mind. It's just like a little notepad. You just open it up, you take your notes, fold it up, and now you got a phone. They even had this little commercial, man. I'm gonna have to look for it. They had a little commercial that they aired. I don't know if it actually came on TV, but it was definitely on YouTube where this guy was in a bar talking to a girl. He had this real slick phone. He opened it up and like the, the one guy with his regular phone, you know, she was like, oh, I don't want none of that. But this dude opened up his phone and he started tapping on it and stuff. And the girl was like, ooh, I got me a high tech man right here. So she started trying to holler at him because he had the folded phone. This is way back in the Galaxy Note four days. This is what they intended. They intended the note to be a foldable. So Samsung, here we go. Hear me out, man. Make the note ultra powerful, or make the phone ultra powerful, make the fold ultra foldy, and put the ultra S pin in that boy, and then call it the S24 Ultra, and then you'll have the S24 Plus, and then the regular S24. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It just makes sense to me. Either way, that is my perfect phone for now. I'm pretty sure I'll change my mind and, and ask you to do some more stuff next year, but that's what I want now. So for those of y'all out there who are listening and even agree with me, man, put it in the comments, man. What's your perfect phone? <laughs> Either way, y'all heard mine. So y'all put yours in the comments and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, man, me and my boy Digital Slang started up a new channel. It's called Split Decisions. Check it out, man. The link is in the description. It's where we basically just argue over tech and I'm always right and he's always wrong. Either way, you got to check that stuff out, man, because it's hot. I'll see y'all there.